and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. If you're new here, my name is Nicola and I make lifestyle videos. And today I have, have a favourites video for you. Um, usually do these sort of beginning of the month and make it, or the end of the month and do a monthly favourites. This is a current favourites <laughs> um, because it's middle of the month. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. Phoebe is practising, Phoebe my daughter is practising her flute upstairs. So you might hear a bit of of that going on in the background but um, now is the time I've got an hour and I need to film this otherwise it's not going to get done. Um, right anyway so yeah I had a few things I wanted to share with you so I thought a favourites video was the perfect opportunity to do that and to have a bit of a catch up while we're doing it. Um, I don't know where, uh, no I think it's gone down. I was very swollen which is why I've left it till today to film this. I had some dental surgery. I'm having an implant put in my mouth <laughs> for a new tooth um, and the implanty bit was done um, just a few days ago and so my I was very chipmunky for a few days um, but I think it's gone down but if I am a little lopsided that is why um, that is not a favourite definitely not the dentist is definitely not a favourite although my dentist is really good <laughs> and um, uh, yeah as, de as dental things go it, it was it could have been worse anyway Enough about that. Right, I had some things I wanted to share with you. So I thought now was as good a time as any. So I went through all my things and thought about different things that I thought would be a good opportunity to share as my current favourites. Um, so uh, there's not really, there's a, quite a few beauty bits um, and some clothing and another random thing as well. So I will just uh, get started. So first of all, <clears throat> I understand that when you reach my age, I am 48, um, or probably when you reach your 40s, it is important to start taking collagen. Collagen. <laughs> um, and so this is what I wanted to share. Um, now, not just for skin and hair and nails, obviously that is um, what collagen is known for, but also for, um, for joints. Um, and because I'm doing some running, although I have had two weeks off um, because we've been busy and I had tooth work um, but because of I, I'm sort of starting running and doing more fitness um, it's good to take collagen to avoid injury it's good for your joints and the suppleness of the joints and things like that so that that and hair and nails um, I had um, acrylic nails put on recently and um, for the first time ever and I knew that they damaged your nails I had one lot on and then I had it in fills and had a second lot put on and um, I knew, yeah, I knew that they damaged your nails, but I didn't realise how much because my nails weren't great anyway. Um, but I've just had them taken off, and that my nails are practically non-existent. They're so like bendy and, and flimsy at the end. So they put like a builder gel on top, but already one of those one of my nails has split down the middle, um, and that's peeled off. So um, I definitely need something to help strengthen my nails anyway um, and hair. So I, I've got this. So. The reason I really wanted to share, I've only been taking these for a week um, and I don't know where, how soon you would notice a difference. Is my skin looking plumper? Have I got less wrinkles? That would be nice. <laughs> um, but the main reason I wanted to share it is because I was finding that collagen was so expensive. Like There's some like for a hundred pounds and like for a, a month's supply or um, some of them like um, uh, Holland and Barrett did one. Andrew looked, oh this isn't too expensive. It was like 15 pounds for 30 tablets but then you had to take four a day I was like that's not even gonna last a couple of weeks that's ridiculous um so these ones these are by my vitamins I got them on um what's it called my protein protein hold on let me just double check where I bought it from yes it was my protein that I bought it from um and these are how many tablets 400 milligrams of collagen 90 capsules and it's one a day, so that lasts 90 days and it was 8.99. So that is much more like it. Now, I don't know whether, you know, maybe they're not, it's not as many milligrams as maybe you would want or or anything, but if I just wanted to take something, um, I felt that it was what I ought to be doing and I didn't want to be spending a fortune on something that might not even work. Um, so I thought if I start with this and then, you know, I could always, if it's not enough, if, it, if I'm seeing some, differences but not enough or I don't know anyway I just felt that that I didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds on things that 
may not have an effect so um, I thought if you were in a similar situation and you wanted to take collagen but you didn't know you know what was the best one or where to get these these have got really good reviews as well I looked through lots of different ones and you know everyone was saying how they it had made a lot of difference to their skin and hair and nails um, several people on there were um, people that train regularly and had and were taking them for that reason as well like myself so um, I felt that these were a good option so I will link them below I'll link everything below that I can um, and then you can go and buy them if you fancy taking some collagen so that was first and foremost so that's a favorite not because it's worked amazingly yet because it's only early days but mainly because of the the budget friendly option so next up is um also skin <laughs> um so another thing that i understand that we should all be taking is or using is retinol um but i also know that it is um your skin can be quite sensitive to retinol so you have to build up um and what have you and i also don't want to spend a fortune on skincare i don't I've never spent lots and lots of money. I buy things, I've tried things and have found things that work on my skin that aren't hugely expensive. And I would love to use all Elemis products. I just can't afford it. Um, so I had seen somebody recommend um, this, which is the retinol from Primark. Come on camera, are you going to focus? There we go. Um, so I don't know how good um, Primark skincare is supposed to be. However, um, I just want some, wanted something that was gonna maybe, I don't know, smooth out my skin, uh, make my skin, skin feel nicer. Um, I already use um, the L'Oreal Revitalift serum in the mornings. Well, I was using that morning and evening. I've also got a skin, I think it's called, um, like a vitamin C serum that I use occasionally when my, I feel my skin is looking a little bit dull. Um, so now I just put this on at night time. So I put it all over, it's only 0.5%. So obviously it's not gonna do a huge, yeah, you know, make a huge difference. But I definitely have felt my skin is softer since I started using it. Um, it's not sticky or anything. I like putting it on. Um, and I then, I use this, I, I cleanse, I use this, and then I use a night cream on top. And I also have a retinol cream, which I use around my eyes um, as well. Um, and I just, I just like it. I just def definitely, my skin feels softer because of it. Um, so I thought I would recommend that. And it's not expensive. I can't even tell you how much it is. I'm gonna say 3.99 ish, maybe even a little bit less. But as I say, it's from um, Primark. I know um, somebody else I watch on YouTube recommends the niacinamide that they do. They do lots of different serums. So if you want serums for other things, they probably do a hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid as well. Um, but I specifically wanted retinol, so I bought that and can recommend. And the last sort of beauty-ish thing I bought, which I'm probably, well, I'm probably a bit late to the party on this one because most of you probably already got one, but um, I have been wanting to get a makeup brush cleaner for a long time. Um, the Style Pro uh, makeup brush cleaner. Uh, my makeup brushes don't get cleaned anywhere near enough because they it's a faff, <laughs> takes up loads of soap or olive oil or whatever it is you want to clean it with and then they take ages to dry um, and I've wanted to buy one of these but I didn't want to spend all the money um, so they have been in Aldi at the moment and I paid £20 for this which I think isn't much cheaper than if you buy it on Amazon it might be like a fiver less but they still have them in Aldi if you're interested uh, it is the Style Pro um, makeup brush cleaner it comes with lots of different um i'll take that off. there we go lots of different little <laughs> come out come out um ends for all your different sizes of brushes and you basically just put your brush in there put it on the the doobie and then stick it in here with if you've got a foundation brush then you use this which is the um sachets it comes with but you can buy these on amazon you can buy like a bottle of the stuff and you put it in here and you use that for um, your foundation brushes but anything else like blusher eyeshadow and stuff you can just use a bit of fairy liquid and that cleans them and it dries them too so you just put it in there and it's done really quick so I will link it below um, on Amazon obviously can't link can I link Aldi if I can if it's on the website if it's on the app I will link it but if not I'll link the um, Amazon one um, 
but I thoroughly recommend it. It's made my cleaning my brushes so much easier uh, and more straightforward and quicker um, and they're dry straight away. So um, that's the Style Pro and I probably should have bought one years ago, but I didn't, so I've got one now. Okay, next thing I have is a bit random. So I saw this, I was definitely influenced to buy this by, it was actually in a blog post I was reading about like must have gadgets, things that you, sh you, you know, everybody needs. Um, and there were lots of cool things on there, but this came up and I thought, yes, I do actually definitely need that. Somebody at the door, <coughs> bear with. <coughs> right, sorry about that, postman on a Sunday. Um, okay, so um, this is what I have bought. It's called the Limey. <laughs> um, and it is this little gadget here, which is kind of crazy. Um, and it is, for putting over your tap um, to remove lime scales. So basically you fill the little ball with your lime scale remover. So you can use like white vinegar or actual like biocal or whatever, put it in and then you stretch that over the bottom of your tap and then you leave it on and it does its work. Obviously the most difficult thing about cleaning lime scale off the end of your taps is that if you spray the stuff on it just drips off um, and you can't keep it on there um, and this enables you to now I know you can you can just put it in a plastic bag and then wrap a bubble or something around um, but this just makes it easier <laughs> um, it does it all for you um, so yeah it comes on a little card like that um, I can remember how much it was I, I'm gonna say it was like 5.99 something like that. it wasn't massively expensive um, there is um, like a Lakeland um, lime scale remover that they do on Amazon as well that you could buy with it. I didn't because I've got like Viacal and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. And uh, you put it and it works, it does the job. I put it on my taps, put the stuff in there, after half an hour, go back and all the lime scale is gone. Amazing. So thoroughly recommend that if you've got lime scaly taps. I mean, we live in a really hard water area. So um, definitely definitely need need this sort of thing so uh, what they need to do is a bigger one for your um shower head <laughs> that would be handy um but yeah so thoroughly recommend that um next up is something i've actually shown before um i sh showed this as i got in my what my <laughs> i showed this in my what i got for christmas video um but then when I did my B&M haul recently, when I, in my thumbnail, I had all of the stuff in this bag. And so many people asked me where the bag was from. Um, did you get that in B&M? And I was like, no, I'm so sorry, I didn't. Um, so I thought I would show it on here. I did put it on, I linked it on um, Instagram as well, but I thought I would put it on, I <sighs> can't speak today. I thought I would talk about it on here as well. Um, so it's this bag. Um, and it is basically a tote bag. It's really big, really, really big. Um, and it's got a couple of poppers either side, so you don't have to have it quite so big. You could do those and then it doesn't need to open quite so big. Um, I've had so many comments and compliments on this bag. I love it. Um, and it's really strong. It's got like um, a uh, card base to it in the bottom so that you can put things in. And then it has like leather handles and it has this sort of antique brass hardware and the little feet on the bottom and it is just lovely. Um, it comes from a brand called Tilliana. I will link them below. I saw them on Instagram. They were another thing I was influenced by um, an Instagram advert that came up and I love the bags. And so when Andrew asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I said, oh, one of these, please. So he got me this one and then he also got me a little handbag version as well, which is also super cute. Again, with the like the antique brass type um, hardware, it's got leather strap, but you could change that up if you didn't want a leather one. Um, <clears throat> it's got, um, again, the little card bottom to it and the little brass feet. Um, and it's just really cute. And this has got an in on for Nicola. Um, <clears throat> and you could have all sorts of different ones. Shush. Um, you could have you know your initial on it or you can have the star like that bag I think there's all sorts of different designs you can choose um, but it's really nice nice little crossbody bag or you could take the the strap up and just has it a bit as a little handbag so yeah those are the two bags will you be quiet dog shush excuse me shush um so yes, those bags, I thought I would share them again just because so many people had asked. Um, Tilliana, link below. 
a um, few more little things so um, I have been enjoying the resurgence of 90s fashion can I just say um, I think my happiest time fashion wise was when I was wearing big flared jeans and um, and a fleece so I have embraced that fashion again um, I found these jeans actually um, I'll see if I can show you um, this hasn't actually wasn't going to be one of my favorites but now that I'm here talking about it why not let me just move the stuff in the back here so these jeans um, are from New Look let's see if I can get them in I'm tall so it's a bit difficult to excuse the mess on the floor they are um, cargo style combats we used to call them um, and they're they're not flares but they are baggy like super baggy um, and but then obviously fitted around the top and they are so nice these what these come in an extra long or longer length um, which ideal is ideal for me um, these are a 14 I did actually order a black pair um, and they came and they were nowhere near as nice they weren't as long and they didn't fit as as comfortably or as nicely so I sent those back in the end um, but I would like to find some more um, the only downside is I find it hard to dress them up to make them smart if I want so if you want to wear jeans out in the evening but you want to be a little bit smarter I mean I could wear them with heels but I don't really wear heels so um, I can't I don't think these like flared jeans go that well with boots they're not flared they're just baggy um, but I don't think they go very well with boots it just doesn't look quite right so um, I think skinnies definitely look better dressed up um, anyway doesn't matter I can wear other things out <laughs> um, but I love them anyway so these jeans I'll link them below as well and then the fleece <laughs> OMG I love my fleeces I bought two um, this one is probably my favorite one uh, this was from two at Sainsbury's um, they only had one size left which was a 16 they're actually really glad I bought the bigger size because if I'm wearing a um, like a hoodie or something it fits really nicely over the top um, it's just um, just loose by the bottom it's got um, pockets um, it's got poppers um, up the front and this little pink pocket here like it's dusky pink and it's got the dusky pink around the sleeves um, it's really warm actually um, but perfect for this time of year because you can just wear like a t-shirt underneath and, sh and shove it on or um, or you know whatever there are loads I wanted actually one like this but with like a sage green color here um, instead of the pink but I couldn't find one anywhere um, in the price I wanted to pay um, that was the style I wanted basically so I went for this pink one and actually I'm really really glad and I paid 11 pounds for this in the sale in Sainsbury's I have no idea if it's still there if it is I will leave it linked below if not I will try and leave one linked that's similar um, but I'm not sure I'd be able to link one, another one for £11. But you never know. I'll see. I will do my best. Um, so I had that one. And then I also bought this one. This is from Shein. I don't like promoting Shein. I've done a few Shein hauls in my time. Um, obviously, ethically, Shein isn't the best place to buy your clothes from. However, how nice is this? What I want to do is take this off. That says powerful. <laughs> I'm not sure I want that. Um, so actually Phoebe has worn this as well. So it, it fits me, but it also fits her. Um, it is a more cropped style, um, but I love it. It's this dark green. Again, it's not massively thick. It looks thicker than it actually is. Um, it's got um, like a shiny inside. So it's not as, um, it's not like proper, like warm. Um, it also has, um, these things toggles on the bot on the bottom so you can cinch it right in at the waist and then tuck it in there we go um, and I love it I just love it so much um, I just love this color as well this is my this is my color of the year I think I've everything I've got even my slippers are this color <laughs> um, oh I've got really bright hold on right there we go that's better um yeah so it's this nice fleece um from Shein I will again link it below if I can if I can find it um but um I just love a fleece <laughs> it's uh it's definitely that time of year I mean we're not really getting any spring are we um it's just cold and miserable all the time so a fleece is perfect um on a 
a chilly spring day. So um, so yeah, that's the other thing, other fleece that I bought. Um, and then that's almost it, apart from one other thing that I thought I would mention, which, you know, most of you probably already have one. I am again late to the party. I am this sort of person that if something is like all the rage and everyone's talking about it, I specifically won't get it because I'm like, I don't want to be sucked in. I'm like, no, I don't want to be sucked into that trend. I don't want to do that. Like, you know, the whole makeup brush thing is another, re you know, I don't, oh, I don't need it. I don't want that. I don't, I'm, we're fine without it. And then like five years later, oh, maybe it would be good. So we bought an air fryer. Um, I did share it on my Instagram. Um, you know, I wasn't, again, sucked in with all the hype. Everyone kept going on about air fryers. It was I mean, during lockdown, it was the thing, wasn't it, to buy an air fryer. Um, and then again at Christmas, everyone was buying an air fryer because it's supposed to be cheaper and so more economical when you're cooking. It's like, no, no, we don't need one. And then we get Gusto three times a week, um, which if you watch my What I Eat In A Day videos, you will know. Um, and Gusto have started doing air fryer recipes and uh, you can, I mean, they give an option if you haven't got an air fryer, but they are specifically for the air fryer. And I was like, oh, maybe we should get one. <laughs> maybe that would be good. And I've been starting to think about it and I've sort of tried to, tried to talk Andrew into it, into it. And I was trying to tell him the benefits of it and why it would be good. In the end, he was like, yeah, let's go and get one. And we actually managed to get this one um, <clears throat> from B&M um, for 99.99. And it's, it's a dual nine litre air fryer. I think there is a more modern version now. Um, I will link it below if it's still on offer. It was on offer also in Tesco for like 119.99, but we got it for 20 pounds cheaper. So I think it was originally 149.99. So we saved 50 pounds. And I thought getting a, a dual air fryer for under 100 pounds was a good deal. And do you know what? It has been the best thing I have ever bought, I think. Um, if you haven't got one, then I would suggest you go and get one. <laughs> um, the only thing, the only downside, the downside of it, and the one thing that I wish that it did, was that we've got a dual one, um, and I, it would be nice if you could take out the drawers and replace them with a large single drawer, so that it was a single or a double. I, I don't. I, I couldn't find anywhere any a, a, an air fryer that does do that. You have to buy a single or a double. Um, it's just that in the double you can't always fit some bigger things, which you could like in a in in our double you can fit the small like the Chicago Town pizzas that you get. One of those will fit in a drawer, so I can do two of those. But a large pizza won't. And I know in a single one you could put a large, not a big pizza, but a, a, a you know a, a small ordinary size pizza you could put in there. Um, but that's the only thing. Other than that, um, it has just been amazing. So good um, that regularly we don't use the oven at all to cook. Um, if it, mainly if it's just me and Andrew. If there's all four of us, it's not really big enough to cook for all four of us, but a full meal. Like you could only fit like two chicken breasts or um, you couldn't fit enough chips in one side and get them to all cook like all around you know in one side you you can do enough chips for four of us but you have to do it in, in both drawers in which case you'd have to do something else um i know it does more than just chips and sausages and things like that um we cook some chicken breasts in there um we've done um i heated up I, the thing i find it best for is that like this morning i had two croissants for my breakfast now if i'd wanted to heat them up in the oven i would have had to preheat the oven which takes about 10 minutes and then put them in um which for, for five six minutes or whatever um to eat them so i would have had to run the oven for about 15 minutes if not a little bit more um, with the air fryer i can preheat it in a minute um, then i put my croissant in there for two minutes or two and a half minutes and it was warm and crispy and perfect and not only is it cheaper anyway it's cheaper because you're only running it for four minutes max um so that is the biggest win i think is the fact that it does it quickly and the preheating issue so archie um cooks his chicken dipper bagels he, he makes it's his speciality he does them for his lunch quite regularly he will go and put on the oven and then run off upstairs and do something else forget 
and then half an hour later he'll come down and do his food that's a regular occurrence so the oven is on for half an hour before he cooks it um, now he does it all in the air fryer he preheats it for a minute so he doesn't have to go off and do anything else and then everything is cooked in a shorter amount of time uh, so it's saving us a lot of money um, our regular our smart meter was showing regularly well over 10 pound a day i mean the depths of winter when obviously we were do, using our heating more you know sometimes it was 15 16 pounds a day we're rarely getting o over sort of seven pounds a day at the moment and we've still got the heating on in the evenings and obviously hot water and everything um, and I'm, i purely put that down to the fact that we're not using the oven anywhere near as much as we were um, it's also handy when you're cooking a lot of food and there isn't always enough room in the oven our top oven isn't very good so we usually only use the fan oven um, so last night for example we had a couple of pizzas on the go um, we had um, a big thing of chips and then we had some breaded chicken so Andrew did the breaded chicken in the air fryer because there wouldn't have been enough room for it in the oven um, it was done nice and quickly and really crispy and lovely um, and everything else um, was done in the oven so it just gives you an extra extra space I guess I know my mum and dad are really keen to get one um, so uh, I've my dad wants to come and see how ours works and and because uh, i think for them it would be really good because there's only two of them and i think that they, they would probably do most of their cooking in there um and uh yeah i'm yet to bake anything in it i'm yet to do like some fan any fancy meals and i'm i'd quite like to try you know roasting chickpeas in there um because i love chickpeas like roasted i buy them ready done but you can do them yourself so that would be really good adding like spices and things um so yeah i'm yet to do any sort of fancy recipes in there but i'm keen to use it more um and each week i sort of look up different things that we could try uh so yeah um i cannot recommend it enough i love my air fryer i wish i'd bought one two years ago <laughs> but we have one now so um so yeah i will link the one below that we have um if you haven't already got one but i imagine most of you have probably already got one um so that is everything that is all my current favorites so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below if you're not already and i look forward to seeing you next time baby,